welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody today is another day today is another backdrop and I hope you will enjoy this one as much as I did it's a very simple looking backdrop but it's very cute and it's not gonna take you a lot of time to execute this backdrop I will list everything that I used in this video in the description down below, so go ahead and check it out. And without any further ado, let's jump into this backdrop. Let's quickly go over all of the supplies that I would need for this backdrop. I have my podge, this crystal uh, chain, a red ribbon, gold glitter, a few uh, beads, hot glue, and I would need some of the star from half balls. This is um, from a previous video, but I'm just showing you half star from balls. Also, you would need one black poster board. I already pre traced and pre cut my letter. I don't know why I went with K. K it is. So let's go. I also wanted to add a few pink flowers, paper flowers. I did cut them with my uh, flower cutter by uh, Marvi Uchida. I love these um, punchers, love them so much. They work great, they don't give up on me. This is not sponsored, this is my opinion too. <laughs> To cut out a big letter, I used one big poster board. I uh, traced this letter myself without any templates. So keep on playing, keep on drawing until you're happy with your letter. So now I want to start with my Mod Podge. And for my Mod Podge, I would need to uh, use a big fat brush. I want to make those um, strokes of Mod Podge and then sprinkle some gold glitter and to, just to make this um, beautiful accent on this letter. I really want to beautify this letter and decorate this letter because it's gonna go up on a backdrop and I want it to stand out and not get lost on the backdrops. So I'm taking uh, some Mod Podge on my paintbrush and I'm making these big strokes down. Let's do one at a time. Glitter, and I'm sprin Ooh, sprinkling that glitter. I love Mod Podge because it's gonna dry out and it won't be seen on the paper. So keep on covering. Tap it a little bit so it would stick to the Mod Podge. I like it. I like it a lot. If you don't want your glitter to fall, you wait until the bottom Mod Podge dries and then take Again, take a little bit more Mod Podge on your paintbrush and just lightly go over your glitter. That way it's going to be sealed and it's not going to fall. Okay, I should have done that uh, after I made all of my... Um, strokes with uh, my podge and sprinkled some glitter because if I'll sprinkle it all the glitter will get stuck on the top layer of my podge. What I do is to get my hot glue and glue a few or a couple of pink flowers right there. Okay, I think it looks pretty cute, but it's not enough for me. So I want to take 
uh, some of my pearls and jam stones and just kind of go over this uh, letter and put more sparkle into this. I think it looks pretty cute. I like the um, gold that is going on over here. Now I'm gonna do uh, something similar to the bottom of one of my legs. <laughs> uh, this one or that one and we'll be done with this letter. Let's move on to our uh, Minnie Mouse heads. What I did is after I cut out my letter, I had some scraps of poster board left. So I cut out um, these circles. They're going to serve us as ears for our Minnie Mouse. So you take your half star from bowls. These bowls, I did spray them with gold spray paint. I used them uh, for I believe two or three videos now and I am reusing them so get yourself just plain white half uh, circle styrofoam balls and spray paint them with gold let them dry and you're good to use them how I hang those um, or these half balls in the back I attached a little piece of paper they just they're sticking out just a tiny bit and I'm going in with my pin with the pearl on top and it works great I'm taking uh, my circles and I'm looking at how high I want to place them and how much I want to see them behind my uh, circle so find a perfect way Get your hot glue, put some hot glue and glue it in the back. And here you have a Minnie Mouse head. Now I want to make a bow. I got this red ribbon. You can choose any ribbon you want. I decided to go with a red and I'm tying a bow. And here you have a pretty bow. Now, I want to cut my ribbon on an angle. I want to take my hot glue, and it's gonna depend on you if you wanna place your bow right in the middle or a little bit to the side. I like it a little bit to the side. So I'm taking my hot glue, putting it at the bottom of my bow and gluing it to my half star from bow. Really cute uh, head of a Minnie Mouse. And now repeat the same uh, thing with all of your half star from bowls that you decide to have. I have a few so I'm going to quickly finish all of them and then we'll move on on to pinning stuff to our backdrop. So let's go. Okay, guys, so going into our uh, backdrop setup. I did went to uh, the my local discount fabric store and I bought this pink chiffon that I think would go really 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 well with this backdrop. You don't have to use chiffon you can use um, tool pink tool would look really good as well just because it's a mini mouse and when I think of Minnie Mouse, I think of those big poofy skirts, so tool would go perfect with this. So what I want to do with this, I want to drape this chiffon on both sides. Uh, one strip over here and one strip over there. Uh, and leaving the middle white for my letter to be in the middle 
so it would pop out even more. All right, let's hang this fabric and we'll attach the rest of our backdrop. Finally. All right, I think it looks pretty even to me. Hopefully, I see things right. It's ready, it's draped. I didn't um, drape um, this fabric like I draped my white fabric. I just um, threw it over the bar and I used a couple or a few pins with the pearl on top and I kind of pinned my pink fabric on my white that's all you do let's go into our letter so i have a letter here and i'm picking a place where i want to place my letter i think it looks pretty good grabbing my pins with pearls on top going in to my letter with that pin and pinning it on my fabric Cute, right? Let's go into our Minnie Mouse heads and we'll pin them somewhere, probably on this pink chiffon. All right, so a quick, quick thing. Um, when I was gluing my bows on my half star from balls, I found out that you can pin them as well. So just pin your pin with the pearl on top through your bow and insert that pin with the bow already into the styrofoam uh, and it's gonna hold just as good as you glue them with glue. Yes, you don't have to stop just here. I already have my twinkle lights uh, attached to my fabric that they've been there for a few videos now. So I, again, I used my pin with the pearl on top and I just pinned those pin on top of my fabric. I'm going to show you how this backdrop can be changed with just twinkle lights. So let me show you. And then bam, look at this. They add just a little bit of something into backdrop, but not completely overwhelming. And if you are going with gold, these lights are definitely not white color. They add a little bit more gold into the backdrop. I think it looks super cute. Okay, I'm going to play with my other up lighting and see if what I like better. I'm going to unplug those and plug my other lights. Alrighty guys, so this is what I have for you today. I love how simple this backdrop is, but at the same time, it is very, very cute. I love it a lot. Here you can see a difference between and the up lighting that I used and the twinkle lights that I showed you a little bit earlier. Big difference. Yeah, uh, twinkle lights add more gold uh, into the backdrop and that up lighting adds more light. So you can see I used pink up lighting so it adds more pink. I will list every single light in the description below. Also, I love the chiffon that it breaks down the white. I like it a lot. And those mini uh, Minnie Mouse heads, you can use as many Minnie Mouse heads as you want. I ended up using four large size half star from balls and two medium size half star from balls. I did add a few more flowers on this section of my letter. I loved how it looked before, but I thought it needed a little bit more pink into it. So I added a couple more flowers. You can add as many flowers around the letter or it would be cute if you 
remove the letter and add like a strip of paper flowers over here of pink or any other color you want so yeah you guys everything is attached on a pin with the pearl on top every single uh, half styrofoam ball and my letter I put one pin over here and one pin over there holds really nicely and yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I will share a few pictures at the end of this video alrighty guys so here you have it this is my take on a Minnie Mouse backdrop I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you like how simple that is and it's not too over complicated that's what I like about backdrops if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to ask me a question for my Q&A video, leave it in the comment section below as well. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time, you guys, hit that subscribe button below for more backdrops, tips, ideas, and DIYs. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back in my next video. Bye-bye.